Hello, everybody. My name is Jan Gerlach. I'm a senior public policy manager at the Wikimedia Foundation, which is the nonprofit based in San Francisco, California, that hosts and operates Wikipedia and other projects of free knowledge. We are meeting here today um, with Andres, Laura, and Julio from ISUR, um, a fellow member organization of the Global Network of Centers who study internet and society. And we're meeting via video feed today because we couldn't meet this year at the Global IGF in person. Um, the Network of Centers has established this lovely tradition of meeting in person at several uh, global events, one of them being the IGF. And since we couldn't meet there, we've decided to um, hold these series of um, video chats. Um, and I'm so glad today that we can actually still meet like this. Um, and I'm very excited to hear um, about your work at ISUR. And um, maybe I'll just start with you, Andres. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what you do at ISUR, what ISUR actually is and, and what your work is, um, and also what you're excited about um, for the future? Sure. Uh, thank you, Jan, for the invitation. Uh, so my name is Andres Lombana Bermudez. I am a research associate at the ISUR Center. This is the Internet and Society Center for the Universidad del Rosario. In, in Spanish, it, re it reads as Centro de Internet y Sociedad de la Universidad del Rosario. Uh, I am also a faculty affiliate at the Berman Klein Center. Uh, and I am very happy to see the, the ISUR Center grow. Uh, as a research associate, I have had the opportunity to, to work in different projects at this center and help uh, to build it. Uh, also with Julio and other people at the, at the Universidad del Rosario. So in short, uh, the, the ISUR Center is an interdisciplinary research and training uh, space that focuses on the social challenges and opportunities created by technological transformation. Uh, our focus is mostly on human rights, technological empowerment, and democratization of knowledge and information in Colombia and Latin America. Uh, our center welcomes students and researchers interested in uh, consolidating academic training and advocacy projects that address technological development from a social and human perspective connected to the vision of the global South. By the way, ISUR has the word South on its, uh, in its name, so it's also a, a kind of a pun, and we emphasize that Global South perspective. Very uh, fitting. <laughs> uh, as I see the future of ISUR, uh, we have many projects and lines of research that my colleagues will uh, address in a moment, but the future that I see for ISUR is, is, is a future of uh, creating like these new, new internet models, business models, new ways of connecting people, particularly people who has difficult, uh, conditions, vulnerable populations in, in, in the global south, particularly in Colombia, where you see like uh, more, almost half of the population that cannot connect to the internet yet. So we are reimagining other ways of connecting. I think we have to uh, think in, in local, uh, local scale, not, not massive, but uh, connecting the local with the global in ways that are more equal, less, uh, uh, asymmetrical and, and, and powerful. So I, I see the ISUR having a great uh, kind of intervention in that space. Thank you. That sounds, that sounds wonderful, especially um, as you described the situation around connectivity, for instance, uh, that really resonates um, with me um, and, and uh, seems to, to really make your, your mission also so very, very pressing, right? And, and um, I um, have, of course, heard about your work um, in, in different contexts already when we've met before, um, but I do mem um, sort of wonder how, how you envision um, this, your work locally being part of, of, um, a, of the larger network of centers, how you, how you feed your work locally into that more global work that, that others are doing as well. Is there, is there something that you can share about that? Absolutely. Uh, we, uh, ISUR has that vision, uh, it's shaped by the vision of the network of centers when we started to create it. Uh, I was a fellow at the Berman Klein Center. I started conversations with other people uh, who had created other centers, also with Julio. And we have several projects that actually articulate the network, right? We see a lot of potential 
uh, doing this mobilization of resources of uh, human resources, technology, and funding. We have a project where we are collaborating <clears throat> with the Nordic Center, for instance, around the future of work and uh, youth and innovation, and also a project on uh, Ablatam that is uh, connected to the network of Conectados, also the network in the south that is looking at youth, uh, learning, uh, skills, and doing comparison work between countries. I think this that's very productive. Uh, and I think the, the future of the research on the internet is actually looking at that diversity of appropriation, of diversity of experiences. And the only way to, to, to be able to understand really how it looks the internet in the different contexts is to have a possibility of comparing different continents, different countries, and the network of centers providing a great resource for that. Wonderful, wonderful. So, so exciting. I, I really, really like this work and I'm so impressed. Um, maybe Julio, I can I can throw it over to you. Um, I've been um, a long term um, member and, and <laughs> colleague at, at ISUR, and um, it's so great to see you here today again. Um, maybe you can talk to us a little bit about uh, what you there, what your role is. Thank you, thank you, Jan, for for uh, for the invitation at this space. Uh, it's uh, really grateful uh, to see you uh, again. Uh, I am a, 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 a worker in Isur. Uh, Isur was an idea of uh, Andres uh, four years ago uh, with uh, Sandra Cortesi and uh, Carolina Botero here in Colombia. And we started to, to work in, in, in this idea, uh, particularly in the impacts of the new technologies in our bodies and in our minds and our relationships. And because uh, in, in, in Colombia, in general, uh, there are a, 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 a root of, of um, a technology solutionism. We, we, we want work in, the, in this kind of approach of technology uh, about our relationships, the changes in our society produced by the new technologies. Uh, you have an, uh, an agenda of work uh, that I try to, to present uh, briefly. We are uh, working in, in media information literacy, uh, the, the UNESCO initiative in media information literacy. And uh, we are working now with uh, indigenous population and, uh, and women. And, and women in, in Colombia. Particularly, it's interesting uh, our uh, uh, work with Wikipedia uh, in indigenous language uh, with uh, uh, some uh, communities in Colombia. Um, we are working to uh, in, in uh, democratization of knowledge. Uh, we are uh, we are working, for example, in in a Creative Commons movement, mm -hmm. uh, and this year we we work in the organization in Colombia of the Global Congress on, on Intellectual Property and Public Interest. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we we must to 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 postpone to to. To mm -hmm. 20, uh, 21, uh, but we are working in, in, in access to knowledge and the problems on intellectual property uh, relations uh, with the relation with access to knowledge. We are working too in, in open science and in, in, in open access mm -hmm. uh, with university. Uh, we are working in the, in, in the UNESCO initiative of uh, how to think uh, the, the agenda in, in access to knowledge and, uh, and open science. We are working too in, in, uh, in training uh, of judges in Latin America with colleagues with the, the, the CELE, Agustina del Campo in, in Argentina uh, and the colleagues of uh, the Brazil and Mexico. Uh, uh, 
we are working with UNESCO too in 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 uh, a box of tools in training of judges in mm -hmm. in, in a free expression. Uh, yeah. And and uh, we Isur has been present too in in the uh, uh, internet uh, governance forum, local Colombian uh, internet. Uh, a mm -hmm. forum and regional La Calle and Global uh, Initiative. And we are working now to in, 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 in surveillance and privacy in, in one group in, in Isur uh, is working in, 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 this, uh, in these problems. Uh, this is a very, very brief, broad, uh, very present. broad. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, there was a uh, four years very fructiferous. <laughs> yes, 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 very prolific. Very, yeah. I'm so impressed. Um, I, of course, uh, working at the Wikimedia Foundation, I'm of course very, very happy about the work that you've doing on um, that you've been doing on indigenous languages um, and also around using Wikipedia there. Um, I encourage everybody to read those reports that are public as well. Um, and um, maybe now um, to, to the, the third person from ISOR joining us today, Laura, so great to meet you. Um, can you tell me a little bit, um, since I've never met you, um, can you tell me a little bit about what your role is in these projects and in the, in the ISOR? Well, uh, hi, Jan. Hi, Julio, Andres. My name is Laura Palacios. I am research assistant at ISUR. I'm working since July. Uh, my first role is try to support the different projects that we have. Uh, I I just want to add something about the things that uh, Andres was uh, speaking about, appropriation and digital inclusion strategies. Uh, we are working uh, in a collaborative work with communities in the north coast of Colombia with the community Guayuan Senu. Uh, the principal work that we are doing is creating uh, a collar collaborative uh, dialogue, dialogue so we can, uh, mm, I don't know how to say, provide tools to them uh, in, in, in the, I me enredé, <laughs> in the, in the strategies that they have to prevent the, uh, the COVID-19. So that mm -hmm. this is this is an important word that we are talking about because they don't have just impact in the in these Colombian communities. Uh, the last week we can see that uh, also the, the work that we are doing uh, have an impact in the in the community Guayu, but they are but that they are in Venezuela. So mm -hmm. uh, that's the first thing that uh, Julio talking about and also we have the teams uh, that we are working with Wikimedia uh, that is just uh, important for Colombian people and also for the community we are doing Venezuela. Wonderful. Laura, maybe it's important uh, this work uh, 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 with the uh, Red de Comunicaciones del Pueblo Guayú, the network of communication of Guayú people, please. Uh, Yes, we have an important um, uh, aliado. Agreement, agreement, and, and I don't know. Yes, uh, in, in, in La Guajira Colombiana, that they have different uh, organizations that are part of the Red Communication at Guadu. They have different organizations that uh, produce and uh, they also are community, I don't know how to say, communicador, communicadores. Communicators? Periodistas, communicators, and uh, the thing that is important here, that is the, the impact that they have in the region, uh, because they uh, have a lot like 20 organizations of different communities in Colombia, not, not, not just what you, they have another com indigenous community that they have an important word, so they can reply the message that we have for them. Uh, one thing that was important of this project uh, is uh, related to the, I don't know how to say, empoderamiento de los derechos. Empowerment. 
empowerment mm -hmm. of the rights that we can uh, not just teach to them, see, uh, is, 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 is work with them. So mm -hmm. that is really important for us. Wonderful. So you really, your, your work all together, really, what I'm hearing is really spans from actual research, but also applying those things and giving people the tools to, to, to use their rights um, across, across the country, but also maybe the region, right? Um, as you've mentioned, collaborations with other um, groups in Latin America. Now I'm wondering, is there, a, is there a thing that you, is there a project uh, uh, or a piece of your work that you would like to invite others in the network uh, to join you with? I've heard that you already work with the Nordic Center, for instance. Is there, are there other things that, where you would like to extend an invitation, maybe for 21 for the next year, um, that, that where you would, would um, appreciate the support maybe also from, from other groups in the network of centers? Could be anything, of course. Yeah, perhaps something that we would like to uh, learn more about it is um, how to create these fellowship programs, because it would be nice to have also a fellowship program at ISUR or a residence program. I mean, this, this kind of connections with the mm -hmm. outside world of the university, right? And bringing people uh, in to the center to, to develop their projects, use it as a platform, but also to learn together. So I think that there are like several centers in the network that, that ha has done that uh, from the mm -hmm. ITS to the Berman Klein Center, of course, but also like the Humboldt uh, Center. I think there are like many things that we can learn uh, from, from those experiences. That is actually an excellent point. And I think in conversations with other centers, I have heard uh, similar um, about similar interests, like maybe sort of a, a learning call or something, or, a sh or how do we set up these fellowships or how do we make them work even across centers, right? Maybe there is, maybe there's a lot of potential for interchange between, uh, between different centers. Um, and, and bringing in um, sort of fresh minds from elsewhere. Um, but also, of course, equipping those minds with um, knowledge about the local context, right? Yeah, exactly. yeah, wonderful. Um, so you've, you've said that a lot, of, um, a lot of things have sort of been postponed to, to the next year, unfortunately, due to the pandemic. Um, is there, um, has, has um, COVID, um, um, of course it has, but has it affected your work in, in ways beyond going remote? How big is your center? Is, is it decentralized from the very beginning or have you always had one, one office where you've worked together? Uh, how does this work at ISUR? We are working a very decentralized uh, a, 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 a mode because uh, we have uh, a, a participants in ISUR from the other uh, faculties mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and we are working in, uh, really in, in, in many fronts. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, we are working in the, in the, in the European Directive of mm -hmm. uh, Property Rights mm -hmm. and Influence and, and we are uh, trying to think in the impact in Latin America of the of the uh, role of the intermedia in internet intermediaries uh, in, in, for example, a, a free expression mm -hmm. uh, uh, because uh, the, the European directive uh, about intellectual property uh, 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 assigned to the intermediaries or, of the internet one role in the, in the Filtrado mm -hmm. uh, of of contents uh, in internet in uh, and in uh, uh, Latin American standards of uh, free expression. Uh, this is very problematic. Then we are working with economists uh, in this uh, in this problem, uh, uh, and uh, 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 our our role is uh, is very decentralized to see mm -hmm. the internet problems since uh, interdisciplinary uh, uh, right. approach. 
Okay, so so the switch to to being remote also wasn't that big of a problem to you. I mean, yeah. it's not great for anybody, right? But and 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 through the the Internet Governance Forum, Colombia Internet Governance Forum, uh, we are trying to involve to involve uh, other uh, people from other universities in in Colombia mm -hmm. to to work in in our problems. Wonderful. Um, and and how many people are at, at ISUR altogether? Well, uh, maybe 12 people, the, the core, the core, right, because right. we have study, uh, uh, students uh, mm -hmm. from the grade and graduate uh, studies. We have uh, collaborators. Now we are starting a uh, uh, a uh, first experience in ciencia colaborativa, in collaborative science with biologists, wow. with mm -hmm. biologists. Then uh, yesterday, Laura, no? Uh, we have uh, maybe 15 students from international relationships, uh, from biology, from jurisprudence, from law, from uh, anthropology interested in this uh, first uh, work on uh, on collaborative science uh, and then we, we have uh, people that but the core we are uh, 12 maybe in very impressive how much you do with with only 12 people yeah. so great yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I see that we are already at time, unfortunately, um, but um, it's been so great to hear and learn more about ISUR. Um, I'm a big fan, as you know, um, and um, it was so great to meet you all today. Thank you so much for taking your time, um, and um, I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jan. See you soon. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Andres. Have a great day. You.